Greetings this morning. It is uh, the last day of February. My name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here at St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York. We um, gather this morning uh, heavy hearted for uh, in support of the people of Ukraine. Um, we uh, marvel at the, the heroic um, stand they have taken um, against their aggressor and their oppressor. And we ask that uh, this day, again, be a, a day of prayer, a day of openness to God's presence, and uh, again, that we stand with those people, especially those who have suffered loss from this terrible war. We also um, have it as our last day of Black History Month, and our focus over the month has been uh, with Nelson Mandela. And um, the theme that uh, he brings to us today is one um, that is well known in South Africa is Ubuntu, which uh, means that I am because you are. And it's a whole concept of understanding that um, very somewhat different than the Western uh, Hemisphere's view of things. Um, we often look for our own liberties and, and see the freedoms that we get because of our personal rights. Um, in South Africa, the experience is one of I am because you are, is um, that we don't arrive at this place <laughs> by ourselves, that we are in great complexity, tied in with everyone uh, who preceded us, who is with us, and um, that our connections, our relationships are vital to our life. So let's think about that as we pray um, today's prayers. And again, holding the people of Ukraine uh, surely in our hearts. The grace to you and peace from God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever and ever. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are all his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalm selected for today is Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be humiliated, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation, and you have I trusted all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. Remember me according to your love, for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. 
Gracious and upright is the Lord, therefore he teaches sinners in the way. He guides the humble in doing right and teaches his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are love and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and testimony. For your name's sake, O Lord, forgive my sin, for it is great. Who are they who fear the Lord? He will teach them the way that they should choose. They shall dwell in prosperity, and their offspring shall inherit the land. The Lord is a friend to those who fear him and will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of their net. Turn to me and have pity on me, for I am left alone and in misery. The sorrows of my heart have increased. Bring me out of my troubles. Look upon my adversity and misery and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies, for they are many, and they bear a violent hatred against me. Protect my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have trusted in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all its troubles. Prayers for deliverance, prayers for safety, prayers for protection, guidance, and hope. I know all our hearts are with the people of Ukraine today, and with all those who suffer, all those throughout our world due to political violence and all the craziness that happens with systems of power that leave people vulnerable and subject to suffering that is unneeded. We think of the black community throughout this month of Black History Month and, and their struggles throughout all their lives and through generation after generation. We think of all the people in our world who, who suffer um, greatly due to prejudice and racism, discontent. Our hearts pause. We ask God to be with these people this day. And that we might, like Mandela, have that sense of we, who he was, was due to others that the sacrifices, the, the giving, the strength, the heroism of other people are often responsible for the privileges that we take so lightly in this country and take for granted. That it is due to those people suffering and working hard and opening themselves to uh, to the horrors of war at times. Um, in order for us to, again, um, embrace freedom. I am because you are. It's something to think about, especially in our understanding of Christian community. Let us pause and pray for those in need this day. We ask that you guide all leaders of nations into the ways of peace and justice. Comfort and liberate the lonely, the bereaved, those who have been ridden from their homes, driven into the bomb shelters, driven into places that their lives are, are a question. Keep in safety those who are traveling, those who, again, who have lost everything and are abandoned, waiting at borders to find safety for themselves and their children. Heal the sick in the body, mind, and spirit. 
provide for the homeless, the hungry, and the destitute. Guide and protect all children who are in danger. Shower your compassion on prisoners, hostages, and refugees, and all who are in trouble this day. Hear us as we remember those who have died. And grant us with them a share in your eternal glory. May God's blessing be with us this day and with the people of Ukraine, the people of South Africa, the people all throughout the world who suffer from racism. That God will be with them today in a special way and surround them with our love. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Have a good day.